pet license becomes the hardest thing to get for animal lovers. The Pune Municipal Corporation decision to introduce an online facility for pet licenses has sparked controversy among animal welfare groups due to extra rules like needing a no-objection certificate knock, from housing societies and mandatory muzzling of pets in public places. Sarika Pund, veterinary superintendent of PMC, said, we are still in the preliminary stage of the decision and nothing is final yet. The knock from housing societies will probably be optional. The rule for putting a muzzle on the pet in public spaces is already printed in the booklet issued by PMC with pet licenses since 2015. We have to consider those scared of dogs. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. A pet parent possessing a pet license issued after 2015 clarified that the booklet mentions a muzzle must be put on the pet only if they are aggressive and pose a danger to other people or animals. Currently, an application for a pet license requires a visit to one's local ward office with documents, such as a residential proof, three passport-sized photographs of the pet, photocopy of vaccination card and a RS-75 fee, RS-50 for renewals. Animal activists said these proposals were half-baked and illogical. The need attendant, animal welfare activist and trustee of Animal Rescue Trust Pune, said, according to the circular by Animal Welfare Board of India, OBI, in February 2014, housing societies cannot introduce any sort of ban on residents keeping pet dogs, insist on only small breeds being acceptable, or cite barking as a valid reason for seeking such a ban. It also emphasized trying to ban pets or limit their number is illegal as it interferes with one's fundamental freedom to choose the life they wish to live, which includes facets such as living with or without companion animals. It also allows use of lifts by pets without extra charges and states that, while pet families can be requested to keep their pets on a leash, management committees cannot insist on the use of muzzles. Anita Shetty, animal activist, said, a petition was signed by various animal activists in the city as People for Animals, PFA, has taken up the issue with OBI and PMC. There has been a number of complaints pouring in from pet owners and volunteers against the idea of the new regulations, giving us time to oppose it before it is implemented. This is not the first time such rules have been discussed, and we all have to get involved to sort it out.